Hi guys, now most people will tell you if you're using an A7 IV, shoot in S-Log3 because you get the most dynamic range out of the camera that way. But this is how S-Log3 footage looks coming straight out of the camera. It's pretty dull, pretty lifeless. Who wants to live like this? And what if I told you that you could get this footage in one click? That's right, super easy, one click. I mean, it's a leaming LUD and it costs $40, so let's talk about it. Now, first of all, the last time I wore a green shirt on camera, I got a lot of, do you know you look like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo? So I don't wanna hear any more of that nonsense, all right? I know, okay? I know I look like the guy who played, what's his name, Matthew Lillard? Anyway, doesn't matter. The point is I love the Leeming LUT from Paul Leeming. I don't know him. I have no affiliation with him. I don't get affiliate money if you buy his Leeming LUT. I buy them out of my own pocket. I just think they are the best way to work with log footage and HLG footage. I don't know him. I don't know Beyonce, but I'll buy tickets to her concert. Well, I won't, but that's another example of someone that I don't know. However, if you buy Beyonce tickets through my affiliate links below, that'll be much appreciated. So in this video, I will quickly show you where S-Log3 is in the Sony camera, and then I will go to the computer and just show you how I apply the LUT super easy, super fast. Now don't get the Leeming LUT confused with a style LUT. There are two different types of LUTs. There's the style LUTs, so you, you want an orange and teal look or something like that. You know, you wanna show your feet dangling out of a helicopter, you go orange and teal, but this is a corrective LUT. Paul Leeming, what he does is he takes log footage or HLG footage or other types of footage, and he conforms them so that the colors are very accurate, so that your vector scopes look accurate, your color charts look accurate, and then after that, you can grade as much as you want, but you have a great starting point. And for me, I don't really grade them much at all. I like things to look true to life. So I will use the uh, Paul Leeming LUT just straight on to my S-Log3 footage. And uh, this is pretty much what you're looking at. I might add a little contrast if I'm feeling frisky. So let's go into the camera now to make sure you're on the right picture profile. Okay, so here we are in the menu. I'm using my little ZV-E10 while I hold my A7 IV. Got a little Dougie over here. Little Harvey over here. And uh, here we're on the first tab here with the movie. You go down to the uh, exposure tab, down to five, color, much better menu, I must say, on these things. I'm already on it. Picture profile nine is uh, is the one you wanna be on. Make sure S-Log3 and then S-Gamut3 dot Cine. That is the one that Paul Leeming likes to use. So that is pretty much it. You set up your camera the way he wants you to set up your camera and uh, you know, you, you just follow along with the instruction book. It's, it's pretty much just use S-Log3 with S-Gamut3 Cine and uh, Bob is your uncle. Now you will have to use uh, zebras. I'm gonna turn this off. You are gonna be using zebras to set exposure. And since I am usually the only person in my shots or I am filming other people, I will expose by skin tones and roughly 85 zebras on the skin tones. As soon as you see the little zebras on 85, you know, you just back off the light a little tiny bit until the zebras disappear and you are exposed perfectly for the skin tones. You can do it other ways and that is in the PDF, but I personally like to do it by skin tones because I don't care, those lights back there, I don't care if they're a little bit blown out, I want it exposed perfectly for my skin tone. So I do the 85 zebras on my old mug. Okay, first things first, you gotta go to Paul Leeming's website, leeminglutpro.com and as you scroll down, he'll tell you, hey, you can pay in Bitcoin, but I don't do that. I don't really know what Bitcoin is. So Sony Picture Profiles right here, this one here. So he says Cine 2, S-Log 2, S-Log 3, HLG. That is the one for me. And here's the setup guide, the PDF right here. And uh, that will tell you all of the settings for the Leeming LUT. And as you can see here, see this right here? This is what I use, the skin tone, the 85 for the zebras. You can also use on the gray card, 71, or if you're just exposing for uh, not losing your highlights, you go 94 plus right there. And uh, that is pretty much it. So I will go into Final Cut now. And oh, and look at this guy, whoa, wow, now that is a handsome face right there. This is actually a clip of the video that you are watching right now. It's like, it's like Inception, you know? It's like some kind of Christopher Nolan movie. And uh, I have, 
placed my LUT in the appropriate spot uh, according to Final Cut. So uh, you will see it, it is not available right here. So I will go basic and I'll go into my general settings. And now you will see I have a place for my camera LUT. I have a few of these here. These are the standard ones that come with Final Cut. And then I have my Leaming LUT Sony down here, Sony Pro 3 package. And for the uh, S-Log 3 footage, it's the last one and click and done. I lost my spot where I'm doing that face. The, oh, oh, where'd it go? Oh, oh, there it is. See, look how good that looks. Gorgeous. Am I right? And uh, if you know, if you wanted to add color correction now, after this, you go right ahead. <laughs> These are good shots of me right here. So I'm just gonna add in a little contrast here. Let's brighten it up just a little bit to taste because why not, right? And uh, I will add also a little bit of sharpening because the detail I have turned down to minus seven as is in accordance with the Leaming Lot and everybody's advice in general. So now I'll sharpen it up a little bit and then uh, that is it, done. And now I'll publish a YouTube video and get all that sweet, sweet AdSense revenue, huh? So there you go, super easy. A lot of people are worried about working with log footage. S-Log3 they think is intimidating, but the fact is, if you have the right corrective LUT, like the Leaming LUT, it's just really one click of a mouse and you're pretty much done, as long as you've exposed correctly, which is in his PDF guide. Follow the steps, just paint by numbers, and you can get footage as gorgeous as what you're looking at right now. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I just got creator on the rise here in Canada, but it's in Canada, so that means like 15 people have seen it. But still, thanks YouTube for doing that recognizing greatness, am I right? Anyway, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, we'll see you soon, okay, bye-bye. Yeah, couldn't give me creator on the rise in the US? You know that's where it counts. <laughs>